Emma, thanks. Well, it's finally here, the big election day, but running these elections requires a lot of time and dedication from volunteer poll workers. In Tulsa County, like many other places across the country, more volunteers are always needed. To News Oklahoma's Douglas Brapp listened to some volunteers at the polls about how they serve their communities. Douglas, good morning. Hey, Corey, good morning. More and more volunteers kept dropping out after the pandemic, leaving T the Tulsa County Election Board kind of in trouble a year and a half ago, Secretary Gwen Freeman tells me. Workers are the backbone of this system. Without poll workers, you know, under Oklahoma law, we cannot conduct elections at individual precincts. Luckily, they now have 1,300 poll workers, a number Freeman says is just about right. While the hours-long lines we saw during early voting were nothing they couldn't handle, they'll need more volunteers down the line, especially younger ones. I ran into a pair of longtime volunteers named Sandra and Peggy, Peggy and listened to them, and it's very clear they have a deep pride in what they do. I enjoy being with the people, and also I enjoy contributing to democracy and contributing to my country. And what would you say to people to encourage them to participate in this? It is a long day. I mean, it's, you're talking 13 to 15 hours. Okay, it's a long day. But, you know, if you have an interest in it, and if, you're, if you want to be part of the process, then you should take the training and do it. And, there are incentives to volunteering because there are laws in place to allow people to volunteer at the polls without losing pay from work or using up their pay time off. Plus, Tulsa County poll workers make upwards of $225 depending on their role. If you'd like to volunteer in future elections, we have application details on our website, kjrh.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Douglas Braff, 2 News, Oklahoma. Douglas, thank you.